today I'm going to take this apart if I can. This screwdriver is a bit bent and the reason being is I'm going to start doing my solar project. This thing I've had apart before and what I remember is it's got laser welded cells inside. I'm going to find a way of detaching the cells. I can take that off there. I can use that and I can use that. Anyway, yes, I need a test to get 24 volts. So, that's what I'm going to use. Whether I can get these cells apart, I really don't know. I should really turn the BMS off, shouldn't I? Or is it already off? It might be already off. No, it isn't. No, it is. The battery's literally held in with gravity. I don't like pulling it from this terminal, but I've got no choice. There you go. I've got to take all the tape off, haven't I? So what we have here is temperature sensors, which can go out of the way. If I chop that, I don't know how, then I should be able to split those in half. These are just jewellers, pliers, cutters, you know those little fine ones. I don't like doing this but needs must. I'm not getting the grinder on it. I must admit these are very well made. A lot of you are going to wonder why I didn't just cut an 8S pack out of these. Now the reason is, and I hope it becomes apparent in future videos, is because I wanted to do parallel links so as it will be easily expandable for future. And I hope it will become apparent. Um, the, des the design that I wanted didn't allow for me to just use these series links so I had to split the cells and make them all into parallel packs. I'll have a thunk. After careful thought and del deliberation.
you might look at this and think, well, what are you doing that for, you dickhead? You've got some ATS packs there. Yes, I have got ATS packs, but they need to be in parallel. And I can't parallel them. Um, I, I need a string, you see. I need a, a row of batteries. I can't... I can't... I'm not going to explain it, but I can't do it the way that I want to if I've got them any different. do 4p of these these are all at 3302 3.302 and then I can put these two on the end for connectivity so that'll be 1 2 3 4 5 6p so it's 8s 6p and then I can expand on these if I need to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder that to that oh, obviously just a bridge across these and then I can put a terminal onto there, solder it so as I can connect those. And then any expansion that I need, I've still got. So I'm gonna tape them together and everything's gonna be fine. People are gonna cringe at this. Oh my god, I can't believe you sold it directly to those terminals. Yeah, get over it. This is Thailand, I've got no money, so this is the way I'm doing it. And people are going to say, if you've got no money, you shouldn't be doing it. Well, tough. I'm doing it. Get over it. It's an easy job.
if ever want to join Patreon, link below, I might be able to afford proper bloody cells instead of doing janky jobs like this. I think that'll do. I've got a box. This is my box, not your box, but my box. And in my box, this is a JK BMS, uh, an 8S JK BMS. It comes with the balance leads, it comes with power button, it comes with the bolts, and it comes with temperature probes. Now, these are done properly, not like the Ant BMS. The Ant BMS basically you have to solder wires onto it and mess around. These have got proper terminals on. Um, so it's I think these things generally are much better, but they don't do a 32S. This is going on my battery. That was the one. This was bloody cheap. I think I only paid 20 no, hang on. 17, 18, 18, 18 quid for that. How much are those in the UK? 18 quid. Delivered, obviously. Uh, within three days, they actually come from uh, Thailand. <laughs> <laughs>